My name is Christina Birkel. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Molecular Sciences here at ASU. And my group synthesizes new types of materials. We have three main research themes in my group. We do high temperature synthesis of layered compounds. We also use a little more milder methods like salt gel chemistry to synthesize unique shapes of these types of materials, for example, microwires and also microspheres. And in our third research direction, we like to chemically exfoliate these layered systems into atomically thin two-dimensional sheets. So one of our recent projects that we are very excited about is making new types of chemical compositions of the layered structures that we're investigating. Um, think about oxides. Thousands of oxides are known, but nitrides not so much. So my group is pushing towards novel types of nitrides. And we have recently discovered and synthesized a nitride in a unique structure that has not been known before. Also for our synthesis of the max phases, our hexagonally layered systems, we are now incorporated phosphorus, which is a very unique element to be included in these types of materials. So for our applications, I always like to say and point out that new types of materials are at the heart of the development of new types of technologies. Only if we make new types of materials can we study their structure and their properties. One of our research thrusts hints towards magnetic materials. We have, for example, found a new type of superconducting material, and we're also studying the electrocatalytic behavior of the atomically thin sheets that we are exfoliating in our lab. And one of our most exciting future directions, in my opinion, is that we take our atomically thin sheets and we manipulate the surface such that we can connect atomically a covalently attach um, a molecule to the surface that then allows us to sense certain biostructures, proteins, pathogens, and something like this. So we are now pushing towards collaborating with biochemists here at ASU to develop new types of biosensors.